Dr. Oliver. This is Dusty's fiance, Janet Snyder. Who? The shooting victim. Oh, hello. Please, Dr. Oliver, you have to save Dusty. He's a great man, and he has a lot to live for. Yeah, OK, I don't care who he is. He could be a concert pianist or a serial killer. I'd still do my job, excuse me. Oh. Uh, some bedside manner. He's like that with everyone. But Dusty is in good hands, I promise. If anyone can save Dusty, it's Dr. Oliver. I hope so. Hey. Why don't we go for a walk, huh? Noah. Luke? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Everything good? Uh, uh, I'm just here for an appointment with Dr. Oliver. Oh, you might have to talk to his assistant. I think he probably has to reschedule. Why? He had an emergency surgery. Well, how is it that you know that I'm still sitting here waiting? Oh, I was with him when he got his page. You were? I, I thought you couldn't stand the guy. <laughs> yeah, we were stuck in the elevator at the Lakeview. That's... <laughs> that's awkward. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. Um, well... No, uh... I know that we've broken up, but I don't want there to be any secrets between us. Is it, did you, is this, did you meet somebody? Because if you did, I mean, did you I don't need to ask somebody. my no, permission. No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not even thinking about that. I didn't, no, it's, uh, look, the foundation's gonna donate a lot of money to the hospital. What kind of donation? We're gonna fund a new neurology wing. You know, and you know Dr. Oliver, he's he's all over every single detail, you know, the the uh, the layout, the machines. But if it really happens, this will be where you're having your surgery. Okay, you can go ahead. Say it. You wish I'd stop interfering in your life. This is the best picture you got? Computer forensics can enhance it, but unless the guy turns around, all we got is dark hair and a leather jacket. Look at this. This is just so much talking going on here. It's as if Donovan knows the guy. I don't know. Look, look, there. This guy's not after Donovan's money. Jack, you were right. See, this wasn't a robbery. This was personal. Luke, what you're doing is going to give hope to so many people. I mean, you're going to save so many lives. It, it's really amazing. <laughs> So, now that we've broken up, I can finally impress you. <laughs> yeah, better late than never. Ah, very funny. <laughs> no, what really impresses me is that you and Dr. Oliver were finally able to get along. Quick and dirty, just the way I like it. So Dusty's gonna be okay? Whoa, wait, wait. Y you were operating on, on Dusty Donovan? That's what they say his name was. Hey, I'm sorry that I missed our appointment. No, that's fine, I'll reschedule. What happened to Dusty? He got shot. What? what? Is he gonna be okay? Well, he's gonna have a nasty scar from the entry wound, but I got the bullet fragment out, stopped the bleeding. Mr. Donovan is gonna die eventually, but not today. <laughs> he's just lucky that you were there to perform the surgery. Yeah, he is. Well, I'm gonna talk to your nurse about rescheduling, but thank you again. I can't believe you. You saved Dusty's life, and you're acting like it's just another day at the office. That's what I do. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've never seen you be modest. I'm not. Look, I'm the best, but, uh, you know, even when I do everything right, sometimes it doesn't work out this time. It just happened to work out. Ah, so you're lucky. No, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I never got a chance to thank you. Oh, no, 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 Forget it. No, yeah, I intend to forget it. <laughs> Dr. Reed Oliver? Yeah, that's me. You've been served. What is that? It's the father of that girl who died in Texas. He's suing me for malpractice. Mm -hmm.